Tahitian black orchid. Get the fuck out of here. I can't even smell that. Hawaiian paradise. Get out of my house, Hawaiian paradise. I just, I just had an experience. <laughs> It's been a really long time since I went live on Facebook. I don't even know the last time I went live on Facebook. It is Friday night, it is 526, and I am a party animal. <laughs> well, honestly, if I really was being a party animal, I'd be sleeping right now to get ready to go out around 1130, 12 o'clock. <laughs> I was just telling uh, one of the groups that I'm in on um, Marco Polo that um, New Year's is coming in a couple of days, and no. <laughs> I'm not a New Year's person. I cannot do it. I can't. But I welcome you all here to join me. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Tammy. How are you? I am. I just got a huge box, um, and it includes two sets of the Bring Back My Bar that's available on January 3rd to everybody else for Sensi Consultants. It was available for purchase one day last week, and it was just delivered to my house literally about six minutes ago. I'm so super excited. I did a poll on YouTube and in my VIP group. I'm getting a text and it says that my box was delivered. Thank you very much. Um, I did a poll on both YouTube and my VIP group saying, do you want one long video or do you want like two 15 minute videos doing the first sniffs or do you want, you know, four, five minute videos, something like that. And everybody said long video. So, okay, we're gonna do one long video. I'm gonna jump into it. I am so excited because there's a couple in here, specific, there's two specific scents in here that I've been dying to smell since I've been a Scentsy consultant. Uh, hey, Anne-Marie, hey, uh, Byron, hey, Rosalie. James Vaccaro, how are you doing? I went ahead and invested in a Yeti, um, not the water bottle, the microphone. I'm really super excited about it. It was a little bit of investment. I actually have a new webcam also that I'm using right now. Not that I really want to be seen any better because I'm looking not so great. When will these launch for customers? Uh, January 3rd. If you have a regular Sensi consultant, chances are they will be able to make a pre-order for you just to ensure that you get yours as soon as humanly possible. These are not going to sell out right away, but at some point in like the last week of the month, they will probably, you know, the handful of the most popular ones will probably sell out. It's great. So let's just jump right into Luscious Lemon. One of the people on my team was talking about this with her VIP group, and they were all going crazy about the idea of luscious lemon. Hey, Juan, how are you? Amber Road. I love Amber Road. <laughs> I'm so glad that Amber Road is here. That bitch is going right into my Scentsy Club. Anyway, luscious lemon is described as light cherry lemon. I have a feeling that it's going to be like, um, was that one bright and cherry or something like that? This smells like a lemon drop. Straight up, like a lemon drop. There are going to be people that don't like this. Um, I'm probably going to warm one or two cubes and then save it for the summer. Luscious lemon is just straight lemon. Smells like you just squeezed a lemon into a cup and then took a shot of it, like without the bitterness. It doesn't have any of that pith. Okay, Redwood and cedar. Damn, that smells good. Where did that come from? A fresh scent with texture, warmth, and sensuality reminiscent of a cedar closet. Oh, damn. I love cedar. We were just talking last night in our, um, Matt Tipple and I do a live broadcast every single week. We call it Wax Chat Wednesday, but we actually did it on Thursday this week and next week because of the holiday. And we were talking about redwood and cedar. This is completely different. This is a lot warmer. You're excited for the lemon one as a mixer, Carrie? Yes. It's going to mix beautifully with bakery. I'm telling you. If you mix that, if you mix the luscious lemon with sugar cookie, you will have lemon cookies. Like, totally. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Redwood and cedar is fantastic. I might have to put that in my um, warmers tonight. Okay. Spiced berries. Frankincense and myrrh waft beneath decadent berries to create a oh my god i can't read that timeless scent <laughs> i am so blind spiced berries 
this is great for the uh, holiday season, but the holiday season is coming to a close. You really smell the frankincense and the myrrh. It's not just berries and it's not just cinnamon. This is nice. It's extremely herbal. This would have been perfect for Christmas Eve. And I listen, I'm not somebody who goes to church every Sunday or Saturday night or every Christmas or every Easter, but I do know what frankincense and myrrh smells like. When or at funerals when they take the I know you don't want to be reminiscent about funerals, but the incense that they do, they put in the doohickey and then they go like this. Did you hear that? Like two weeks ago, there were kids that got busted because they put weed in the thing and they got the whole congregation high. That's very funny. Anyway, isn't that everything Jesus got for his birthday? Exactly. Exactly. So moving on. Tahitian black orchid. This is one of the ones that I wanted to smell. There's a... Oh, Ding dong. There's another one that I, I've been dying to smell, but Tahitian black orchid. I have a feeling that this is going straight into my Scentsy Club. Just, just by the description, a seductive, oh my God, tapestry of black orchid, dark plum. You guys know how I feel about plum. Coconut milk. Love coconut milk. Not necessarily coconut, but coconut milk. And white rose weaves a mysterious tail full of sweet surprises okay so the reason why i'm like this and uh is because i downloaded a picture off of pinterest to have all the scents all in one place Sensi has not released a graphic with all of the descriptions in one place yet i am avoiding putting this up to my nose because i desperately want to love it desperately desperately want to love it tahitian black orchid It smells very similar to shimmer. Now my wax is still cold because it just came in from outside. Ah, look at that. It just, it broke. It doesn't usually break like that, especially these dark waxes. These dark waxes usually are teeming with oils. And in a day or two, this thing is gonna be leaking all over the place. I love the scent of it. It's, it reminds me of shimmer, but it doesn't smell very strong right now. I'm hoping that when I warm it up, it smells fantastic, I'm hoping. The quality of the scent, not the quality, the notes, the, the placement of the notes smells delicious. And not delicious like food, delicious like sensual. Um, I almost feel like if I mixed it with that frankincense and myrrh scent, that spice berries. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> spice berries and the Tahitian black orchid. Oh my goodness. Uh, that orchid was one my sister loves at, was upset when they retired it. Now I can be in a subscription. Exactly right. My hair looks terrible today. I have to wash it. Perfect oatmeal. I'm not a huge fan of the oatmeal scents. I don't hate them, but they're really good. They're, they're good mixers. Usually on their own, they're not so great. And this is only called perfect oatmeal. Let's see if it has any other uh, notes to it. Glorious way to wake up brown sugar oatmeal topped with toasted almonds and dotted with juicy dark currants. So I do love currant. Oh, it's called perfect oatmeal, but it's a lot more complex than that. Mm. Mm. This is lovely. Oh, the currants are great. And you would, you know, you look at the color of this wax, you don't think of currants. You look at the color of this wax, you think of currants, right? Oh, that's fantastic. Perfect oatmeal. I'm looking forward to trying that. I, a little secret, I have 30 hours ahead of me, starting around 6.30 tomorrow morning, of being alone in my apartment. I've never had that in my entire life. Like, since I've been in this apartment. Since I've been single. Certainly since I've had kids. I My, my husband's taken my kids away to go snowboarding for like a 30-hour a trip, 32-hour trip. <laughs> I'm going to be warming through all of this in every room. There's going to be a different thing. Okay, Ice Hotel. I have warmed this before. This was in a Bring Back My Bar in 2017. Absolutely loved it. They did not have Scentsy Club back then. I would have put this in my Scentsy Club. Ice Hotel is described as, hold please. Where the fuck are you on this list? Okay, surround yourself with crystalline ice and pure white snow as you breathe in a cool magical fragrance of blue mint, arctic pine, and winter citrus. Oh, it's so good. 
Damn it. Ice Hotel is so good. It really is a winter scent, though. You can get away with it in the summertime, but it does bring you back to a cool weather feel. The pine is not very strong, but it's minty and it's citrusy. It's kind of like Just Breathe a little bit without the, without the um, eucalyptus. I love Ice Hotel. Love it. Frosted White Birch. I know that I'm not going to warm this. I know that because uh, I was a Scentsy consultant when this was in the active catalog. This is not my favorite. Yeah, it's it's too ashy and it's too woodsy for me. Frost White Birch is described as a cool breeze of peppermint, frost, eucalyptus, and lavender. Gently warms to blonde woods, fir needle, and amber. That's a lot of notes and that's a lot of uh, fanfare for this uh, little gray shitty wax. Pardon my French. Uh, one thing that I do like about um, Frosted White Birch is that it changes as it goes, but this is very hard to mix with things if you don't like it. I'm probably not going to recommend it to any of my customers. Right now, I well, Joanne might like this. People who like the more masculine, this is very masculine, uh, Frosted White Birch. Very ashy, uh, very woodsy. It talks about having peppermint and eucalyptus and lavender. I don't smell any of that. That's just me personally. Frosted White Birch is not my favorite. I'm probably not even going to warm. I bought two sets, one for myself to warm, one for me to sell. I'm probably not even going to warm that one. Okay. Be perfectly honest with you. Okay, Blue Christmas. This is in my Scentsy Club. Blue Christmas is fantastic. Orange peels, cloves, fir needles, and cinnamon. Blue Christmas came out in a seasonal collection in 2007, uh, 2016 when my Scentsy business was kicking ass. I mean, literally kicking ass, like seriously. And I warmed through a lot of Blue Christmas. In fact, I, right over there, I have two bricks of it for myself. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be selling this. I don't need to. I don't need to warm it to give you guys a review. Blue Christmas is amazing. Oh, you're killing me. I'm going to be poor, girl. This box that came here, I had to find the money to, to, to order it. I'm telling you, it's, I, I hear you. But you know what? Sensi is not the worst addiction to have because when people walk into your house, they're going to remember. And if you give them a good time, the, every time they smell something, they will think of the good time that you gave them. Every time they feel good, they will think of the smell. There's like a, a scent memory thing going on. Sunny and Cher is the best. My first bar ever. I've smelled Sunny and Cher. We're going to get to that one. Not my favorite, but I'm not a fruity. I'm not a fruity girl. So we'll, we'll get to that one. Oh, Blue Christmas is so amazing. So this is um, Mad About Mint. I was looking forward to smelling this. Last night, Matt and I were talking about perfectly pe uh, perfect peppermint. An icy cold blast of mint. Spicy peppermint. So mint is different than spicy peppermint? I'm not sure. Refreshing spearmint and frosted wintergreen. How many versions of mint do we need? It's really, it really just smells like freaking extra gum. Like that bright green extra gum. Well, eh, it's mint. I'll probably mix it. I'll probably mix it with like florals or something like that, or citrus. Some kiss citrus mixes perfectly with anything minty. Rosemary mint. Soothing mint and tea tree cool over soft rosemary. This is better than Mad About Mint, but it's in the same vein. It's very herbal. It's, I like it more than the Mad About Mint, but this is very crisp. This is going to be perfect in the summertime. Again, just like the first one that I warmed or that I smelled. I don't remember what it was. I'm probably going to just be warming like two cubes of this and then saving it for the summer because please, I, it's, it's still, we haven't even gotten like the real winter weather yet. Wassel. I'm wondering if this is going to smell like Wassel Wonderland, which was in the seasonal collection back in the same thing as Blue Christmas. Wassel is described as fruity, is that bouquet of tangy oranges, apples, and mulling spices. I wish this had come out before Christmas. This is a beautiful uh, Christmas scent. Wow. It's not very strong. I wish it was stronger, but maybe, maybe that's good. So it's oranges, apples, and mulled spices. Mm. It doesn't smell very strong. It doesn't smell very original to me. 
We'll see. That was Wassel. Thank you, Anne Marie, for answering Vivian's question. I didn't see her question back there, but I'm assuming she's asking about the price of the salt lamp warmer that's coming out on January 3rd because that is normally $60. It's going to be $54 because it's going to be 10% off. Sugar and spice. I'm also familiar with this one. Treat yourself to a crunchy candy coating giving way to a black licorice filling, spicy herbal and sweet. Mm. I smell licorice. This does smell like black licorice and I do love black, black licorice. Oh, it almost smells like cola. Oh, this is nice. It's not strong enough though. And it's because my wax is cold. I can tell. This color of wax is supposed to be like dripping with oils. So I know that once this warms up, it's going to smell a lot stronger. So sugar and spice smells like black cherry cola, in my opinion. Plumeria. I think I've smelled this before, but I don't know. Pink and gold plumeria combines with jasmine for an exotic floral aroma deepened by juicy pear. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I am a floral girl and I'm, I'm, I love pear, so... Plumeria. It's very floral. The pear could be boosted up. I'm not sure. When you warm it, it might get better. It might get more fruity. Not fruity. Pear, oh, you know what would be nice in this one is plum. Mixing it with a little bit of something in plum. Oh my God, plumeria is fantastic. Oh yeah, that's an old scent, smell good. Patricia, are you talking about plumeria? Because I just... I just had an experience. <laughs> oh my God, it was so good. Don't tell anybody. Pistachio ice cream. This has come back twice in Bring Back My Bars. It used to be in the um, catalog. It was in the winter, fall and winter catalog of 2017, and then it came back twice. This is the second time it's come back in a Bring Back My Bar. Eh, I'm not even going to warm this. I like it as a novelty scent, but I don't want my house to smell like pistachio ice cream. That's exactly what it smells like smells like pistachio ice cream, which is pretty amazing that Scentsy can actually make something smell like ice cream. That's actually amazing, but I don't want my house to smell like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, everybody's different. Rustic Lodge. Okay, so I actually wanted to smell three, and I can't believe that African mahogany is all the way down at the bottom of this box. So I wanted to smell Tahitian Black Orchid, Rustic Lodge, and African Mahogany, which is still down there. Rustic Lodge is described as warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk with traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves. I'm hoping this isn't too smoky because I don't really like the smell of smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to like this, although it does smell like it has some amber in it, and that wasn't really in the um, description. I think I'm going to love this. I hope so. I have six bars of woodland suede over there that I thought I was going to want forever and ever, and I can't even warm it anymore because of the amount of amber that's in it. And I don't even think that amber is in the description of woodland suede. But that's all I can smell. This is very similar to woodland suede. If you have woodland suede, you don't necessarily need to get this one. But if you've never smelled Woodland Suede, you can't get that now. So you might as well get this one. Does that make sense? Anyway, Rustic Lodge is nice. It's very masculine. It's very amber-y and, and woodsy. Amber Road. Here we go. Now, this is going into my Scentsy Club. I don't necessarily need to smell it because I know that it, it it's so fantastic. Oh, open a box of treasure. Handpicked from exotic lands to discover glowing red cedar and ugh, resinous incense tucked amid smoky vetiver and crackling birch leaves. Jesus Christ, that's a description. I can't even. Amber Road is fantastic. That's all I can say about that. Orange Dreamsicle, a classic combination of fresh orange, ooh, swirled with vanilla cream. It's Orange Dreamsicle. It's, it's you know, the creamsicle pops. That's what this is. I don't want my house to smell. I don't want my house to smell like this. <laughs> I have a mic. I have a mic. <laughs> but I really don't want my house to smell like this. I'm sorry. I have to whisper it. Hawaiian paradise. There's a ton of stuff here that I do want my house to smell like. 
but just not pistachio ice cream, not orange dreamsicle. No, I'm fine. Hawaiian paradise, buffet of Hawaiian fruits, pineapple, mango, <laughs> banana, papaya, and coconut. If my husband ever watches this, he's going to be like, why the hell did you even smell that? Get the fuck out of here. I can't even smell that. Hawaiian paradise. Get out of my house, Hawaiian paradise. No. I'm not a tropical fruit girl. Rainforest. Amber and soft musk combined with earthy fern, crisp citrus, and fresh barely ripe, barely ripe? Barely ripe berries. I guess that's a thing. You want it to be barely ripe? This doesn't this doesn't smell anything like rainforest. Oh my god, what's the other scent? Rainforest. Oh, damn it. There was something recent in the catalog just from last season. Rainforest fern. Oh my god. This smells nice. I like it. Hey Monica. Hey Marguerite. Hey Celia, how you doing? Rainforest is not like rainforest fern. I think that's what it's called, rainforest fern. Peter Tarnowski, you're not a fragrance person. Get the fuck out of here. I'm kidding. Hi, how are you? He's a fisherman. He's a fisherman. He goes fishing. Anyway, African mahogany. This is the one that I was the most... Rainforest bungalow. Thank you so much, Diane. Diane is on my team. Diane, Diane is out on Long Island, and she is doing... She has had... I think one of her best months and December usually sucks as a sense of consultant because people have already done their Christmas shopping. She has done amazing. Anyway, African mahogany is described as a crisp fragrance combining precious woods and musk and am with musk and amber. Okay. This is really musky. This is really ambery. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to warm like a full cube. Like, okay, so a Scentsy Bar comes in eight cubes. You break off one cube and you put it in a warmer. Some people like to put two cubes in a warmer. I have so many warmers in my fucking house that if I put two cubes in a warmer, forget it. <laughs> the neighbors would be like, you know, calling up the co-op company saying, get her the hell out of my house. Um, that is really super strong. And my wax is cold from the UPS man. Uh, African mahogany. I'm going to have to try that with just one cube and one warmer. It's Jean. Hi, Jean. How are you? Yeah, I look good. Yeah. My hair is like a greasy, disgusting mess. Don't ask me when the last time I lashed it. I don't know the day of the week. It probably ended in Y. Anyway, um, thank you. Jean, if you want any Scentsy, I can, you don't have to pay uh, shipping because I'll just bring it to you. And it would be a, an excuse for us to get together and have a glass of wine. Sunny and Cher is described as, oh, blah, blah, blah. This description goes on forever. Wash clean and blah, blah, blah. Spring shower, soft sea air, golden citrus, and dewy driftwood scattered with white beach daisies. Give me a break. Really? Okay. It's super sunny. It's super sherry. Sunny and Cher is so boring to me. It's just not exciting to me. It's very summer. It's very sunshine. It's great if that's what you're into. Anyway, perfect. Yes. Call me and I will bring you a warmer and a, and a bar of wax. Whiteout. Exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple over fruity pine. So you sort of smell all those, but I smell mint over everything. Now, this is going to be going into my Scentsy Club, not for me. Assistant principal of my kid's school, okay? She, there's actually three assistant principals in my kid's school. And the one that um, is in the middle school, the like the older grades, she knows I'm a Scentsy consultant. She's a Scentsy freak, and she loves Whiteout. She, she buys it for me as soon as I get it, and she buys all of it. I'm probably going to be getting a 12-pack, maybe even 18 of them. And then just holding them from her and like spacing it out so that she doesn't get it all at once, kind of like a crack dealer, because it's kind of like how she feels about the whiteout. The whiteout, she'll warm through all of it and then be like, well, where can I have some more? And it's like, mm, girl, mm, chill. Anyway, one more. Apple Press is the last one. The smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last 
Oh, fuck. I don't even know what it says. I can't see it. You guys can see what I'm seeing. It's ridiculously fuzzy. Apple Press is fantastic if you mix it with stuff. Mm. I just snorted. Oh, my God. Uh, Apple Press is fantastic if you like Johnny Appleseed. You will love Apple Press. Apple Press is good if you mix it with. Um, it, it probably will be fantastic mixed with um, African mahogany. The crisp apple will tone down. It's probably going to be great mixed with the Rustic Lodge, too. The apple will tone down the amber, and it makes a very masculine, very meaty, deep scent. I have to do this when I talk like that because it's just, it makes you kind of go, mm, it smells really good. Apple press is fantastic. I have piles of wax here. I have to go because my husband is screaming that uh, the dinner's ready, but um, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to cut it up a little bit and put it on YouTube so that it's a little bit more abbreviated. Um, if you have any questions about anything, get in touch with me. Go to metallicamom.com, metallicamom at outlook.com, facebook.com slash metallicamom. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic Friday night. I will see you on the flip. Ciao.